Welcome to Think Big Tutors SAT Tips and Strategies. Today we're going to go over one of the most common writing errors on the SAT called subject verb agreement. I'm going to teach you how to find the subject and verb in a sentence and ensure that they agree. One of the main things that we're going to be doing is putting prepositional phrases in parentheses. A prepositional phrase consists of a preposition, for instance, of, on, at, over, through, with, and ends with a noun, a person, place, thing, or idea. The reason that we will put prepositional phrases in parentheses is that the subject and verb in a sentence is never in a prepositional phrase. So this technique will narrow down where we look for the subject verb in a sentence, making it more easy, making it easier to, to find them. Let's begin. All the ingredients for Pablo's secret chocolate chip cookie recipe, which included the special dark chocolate, was available in his mother's pantry. All right, so I'm gonna put prepositional phrases in parentheses. Of the ingredients, of is a preposition, ingredients is a noun, for Pablo's secret chocolate chip cookie recipe, for is a preposition, recipe is a noun, in his mother's pantry, in is a preposition, pantry is a noun. Now we'll look for the subject and verb outside of these prepositional phrases. The subject of the sentence is all. And all refers to ingredients. Ingredients is plural, and so too is all. Let's find the verb that goes with all. All what? All was available. Now, we need to figure out if was is singular or plural. What I like to do is put a singular subject in front of was, in front of the verb, and see how it modifies it, and then put a plural subject in front of the verb and see how the subject modifies the verb. So, for instance, Glenn was at home. Glenn is singular, was is singular. Glenn and Jen were at home. Glenn and Jen, plural, were plural. We know that was is singular. You can see that the subject all and the verb was do not agree in number. The sentence should have the verb were. Let's go the, through the answer choices and cross off any of them that use was. Let's look at B. All of the ingredients, which included the special dark chocolate, they were available. There's a problem here because the subject of the sentence is all and the verb should be were. If you choose B, then they becomes the subject of the verb were. Let's look at D. All of the ingredients, including the special dark chocolate, being available. Being is not a verb. All the ingredients, including the special dark chocolate, were available. Perfect. Let's move on. Listening to good storybooks sharpen children's awareness and appreciation for the sounds of spoken language. Again, let's put prepositional phrases in parentheses. Two good storybooks. Four sounds of spoken language. All right, subject and verb are outside of these prepositional phrases. The subject is listening. Listening is fun. Listening is singular. Let's find the verb that goes with it. Listening what? Listening sharpen. Let's test sharpen, sharpen to see if it's singular or plural. Glenn sharpens his pencil. Glenn and Jen sharpen their pencil. Sharpen is plural. You can see that the subject and verb do not agree. 
One is singular, the other is plural. We need to change sharpen to sharpens. Let's take out any answer choices that use sharpen. Okay, let's look at B. Listening sharpens children's awareness of and appreciation for. Sounds pretty good, right? Listening are what sharpens. Are is plural. Just like sharpen is plural, we need a singular verb. Out. Listening sharpens the awareness of children and it sharpens the appreciation for sounds. This changes the meaning of the sentence. The right answer is B. And notice the parallel parallelism, another common error on the SAT. Listening to good storybooks sharpens what? Children's awareness of and appreciation for. There's a nice balance to the sentence. Let's move on. Audio recordings and the equipment used to make them comes in many forms, including recording, records, CDs, and analog and digital tape recorders. All right. Prepositional phrases. To make and play them in many forms. And that's it. Subject. Audio recordings and equipment. Definitely plural. Let's find the verb. Audio recordings and equipment, what? Comes. Let's test the verb for singularity or plurality. Glenn comes home. Glenn and Jen come home. This is definitely singular. What should it be? Come. Audio recordings and equipment come in many forms. B is the error. The origin of amusement parks lie in ancient and medieval religious festivals and trade fairs where merchants, entertainers, and food sellers gathered in order to take advantage of large crowds. Prepositional phrases. Of amusement parks in ancient and medieval festivals and trade fairs in order to take advantage of large crowds. Subject. Origin. Singular. Origin what? Origin lie. Let's think about it. The answer lies. The answers lie. Lie is plural. See the subject verb disagreement? Now, in previous problems, we were able to modify the verb to make it agree with the subject. In this sentence, we have to modify the subject because the verb is an underline. We should use origins, which is plural. The origins of amusement parks lie in ancient and medieval religious festivals. The error is A. Reading maps involves several abilities. Look at it. It's right there. Subject. Reading. Singular. Reading what? Involve. Let's test involve for singularity or plurality. Glenn involves his friends. Glenn and Jen involve their friends. Definitely plural. It should be involves. Moving on. Aside from Shakespeare, perhaps no writer in English have engaged the public's imagination more thoroughly than Charles Dickens. Prepositional phrases from Shakespeare in English. And that's it. Subject, writer, singular. Writer what? Have. Let's test it. Glenn and Jen have arrived. Glenn has arrived. Definitely plural. Notice the disagreement. Singular, plural. The right verb has. Aside from Shakespeare, perhaps no writer in English has engaged the public's imagination. The error, C. 
An abundant supply of milk from dairy farms nearby make the Bern region of Switzerland a leading producer of condensed milk and milk chocolate. Prepositional phrases of milk from dairy farms of Switzerland of condensed milk and milk chocolate. Subject supply. Supply is singular. Supply what? Supply make. Glenn makes lunch. Glenn and Jen make lunch. Definitely plural. See the subject verb disagreement? To fix this sentence, we need the, pl uh, the singular verb makes. The error is C. That's it for subject verb agreement. Uh, look for it on the SAT. It's one of the most common writing errors. Um, thanks for tuning in, and uh, please watch our other tutorials. Have a great day.